Hello again, that's been a bit of a journey for you. I hope you've managed to get all your squares joined and you're happy with how they're looking. You might find that um, on the outside edge there are little dips appearing um, along where the, the squares are joined. Please don't worry about that because we're going to sort that out. In fact, we don't need to sort it out. It sorts itself out. We're going to now do one more round before we can call this section one complete. And what I'm going to do is a round that goes around the outside of just simple treble clusters. That is going to give us a slightly deeper border because I'm going to be using the same shade of purple. Um, it will help to pull those bits up. In fact, if I just do that, you can see that they do pull up quite easily, but um, that will help to straighten this off and it will also give us a really nice straight edge for section for the beginning of section two. So that's our task now. And to start, I'm going to turn the blanket over to its reverse side. So it's reverse side uppermost. You, if you've got um, stitch markers, and on the front, you'll hear them clickety clacking on the table. And we're going to be working, as I said, with treble crochet stitches. Of course, we did, we used half treble for all the um, joining round, but we're going back to treble for uh, this round. And I'm going to attach my yarn in any corner. And chain two. Chain two, of course, is the equivalent of the first treble stitch. Then I've got one, two treble stitches to put into that corner, and that is the first half of your first corner. And of course, that will be completed when you come all the way around the four sides. And then all you need to do, quite simply, is three treble stitches in each of the spaces along the side. So this is a kind of maintenance um, round just to smooth everything off because we do have that funny little dip at the join between the squares. Now I'm going to show you what to do between the squares because there is uh, just something slightly different. If you've done some of my patterns before, you'll probably go, yes, I know what to do. But for those of you who are working for the first time one of my patterns, or maybe have even forgotten and need to have your memory jogged, then um, I'll show you. So we're nearly there. So there's how it's looking um, with the treble crochet on top of the half treble crochet. Um, I'll just say very quickly here that this is often a flashpoint where mistakes are made and it can really throw out the count for the rest of the blanket. And it's something that so many people, when they come to me um, and say that things aren't working out, when we look back at what they've been doing, this is the problem. They've forgotten to do the outside edge of the join as you go. So remember that when you've come all the way around with your join as you go, you've still got the outside edge to do. Each of these squares has to be outlined in half treble stitch on all four sides. So you've, st you know, when you're doing your um, continuous join as you go, as the the last video explained you've got this outside edge to do and if you don't do it you'll be one treble cluster out for the count for the rest of the blanket 
So just bear that in mind. And it's very easy to make that mistake, mistake particularly when you're working your um, next round, as in this case, in the same colour, because it can look di quite difficult to tell whether there are one or two rounds. But remember, you've got this half treble round and then the treble. OK, now we've come to this corner. And you've got a corner space here and a corner space here. Now, if you were to put treble three in that space and then treble three in that space, you would end up with far too many treble clusters. And what happens to a blanket when you've increased the number of clusters is that it starts to get a bit wavy and obviously the rest of it doesn't fit. So we need to put, instead of a cluster here and a cluster here, we're going to put a treble cluster that sits, one treble cluster that sits right on top of the join, completely dead center above the join. And to do that, we're going to go into that first corner space and make one treble stitch, an ordinary treble stitch. And then I'm going to make a decreasing treble stitch. So it's treble two together. And to do that, yarn over, go into that same space, yarn over and pull up your loop as if you were making a, an ordinary treble stitch and yarn over and pull through the first two as normal. But at this point, leave it with the two loops still on the hook. And then yarn over your hook again and go into the next space. And you might need to wiggle your hook around a little bit to find that space, but it is there, the next corner space. Yarn over and pull your hook through it and you've got four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops and then yarn over and pull through the last three loops like that. And if you look, I don't know whether you can see that, how clearly you can see that, but we have a treble one and then this upside down V shape which is actually two stitches at the bottom, but it's just gone into one at the top. And then we finish the cluster with a treble one. Now, if you look, you can see that we have, let me see if I can pick up my needle. We have the previous treble three cluster here. And you, if you look at the top, you've got one, two, three stitches on the top. And then you have this slightly different looking treble cluster here. And although it looks as if it's got four stitches at the bottom, again, it's still just got one, two, three stitches at the top. So that is our uh, cluster, our decreasing treble cluster, which is sitting on top of that join. And then I can just go ahead and put in my next group of three trebles and work along. So I'm going to just work along. So when you come along to the corner, you've got your usual treble three, chain two and treble three in the corner. And then you work around all the four sides. And when you get to the very last corner, you've already got the, your chain two and treble two in it. So all you need to do is treble three, chain two, and then slip stitch into the top of your first chain two, and you can fasten off. And that will be section one finished. So I'll come back when that's done, and uh, we'll be ready to start section two. See you then.